infinite, almost infinite number of evidence. I think we need to just open our eyes and look at it. Example again, that if uh, this piece of paper um, basically turn to baby alligator and I, I think there will be no doubt that there will, this will be a, 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 an evidence and I think unequivocal evidence because there is no way at least for now for us to turn this piece of paper into alligator. Now I agree the one piece of paper turning alligator should not be sufficient for you now but then I think if you find thousand pieces of paper like this and turning to alligator, they become plentiful. If you find billion, that would be plentiful. If you find that it's not happening one time, it's happening all ways, that actually would make much stronger. Now, that if you find it's not just a piece of paper turning to alligator, you see the piece of paper turning apple, piece of paper turning orange, piece of paper turning bird, now, I think that will be plentiful, unequivocal evidence. Now, no doubt that if I make a prayer right now to God and say, Oh God, that this atheist friend is blind of your work, please turn this piece of paper to alligator to bird, not for one time, make it a rule that every time he or someone else asks for alligator and turn this one to alligator and if they put it in it they, they let's say fold it in this shape and put it on the ground always turn to alligator if they put it in this shape and put it on ground turn to bird and they change it the shape and put it in ground turn to apple now if i make such prayer to god and if he accept that one, not only one time, and imagine that God accept my prayer, and actually you fold the piece of paper in a certain way, you put in the ground and turn to alligator, and then you fold it in a certain way, you put it in the ground and turn to bird, etc. Thousands of different things. It's not happening one time, it's happening every day, every time. You know what? Then you're going to go, that's, that's the problem. You're going to go and say, you know, this is an alligator seed that you put this alligator seed then turn to alligator and then you when you change it on fold, fold it in a different way you say oh this is an apple seed that you put this one in the ground and in turn to apple now that's what that's how i have a, that's why i have a problem with the scientific explanation i think this is exactly what god is doing in the universe i think we try to basically blind people to see this miraculous work of God. Well, first, uh, in nature, we don't see alligators coming out of little balls of paper. <laughs> we just don't see that. Second, uh, that's not what the, the test is all about here. The test is you praying to God to come here right now and transform the piece of paper into a baby alligator and do it more than once. That's what the test is all about. I don't see why God, if he exists, would not uh, comply with your request. After all, you claim to be good friends with him. Maybe you aren't as good friends as you think you are. Maybe he doesn't consider you his friend, and you just consider him your friend. That, that could be it, if he exists at all. But I doubt uh, that's the case. I think that it's more likely that this person is simply like Batman, he's something that you imagine to exist that doesn't really exist. I notice that you're really loose with the word infinite. You, you use it all the time, and <clears throat> I think you use it inappropriately. It's a mathematical concept, and uh, when you're talking about the physics of our universe, there's uh, strong evidence to show that it's not a, an infinite universe. It's finite in terms of uh, space, the amount of space it occupies. We can actually measure that amount of space. It's finite in the matter, and in, in, in terms of the matter and energy in the in the universe. The only thing that that might possibly be infinite is uh, the occurrence of events. Uh, they they may go on in the past for as far as we can imagine and into the future as far as we can imagine but um, the 
the number of objects, the amount of the energy, the amount of matter, the amount of space, that all seems to be finite. And it would not require uh, a being with infinite power to create uh, a universe of this type if he did exist. But, but the point is that uh, you, you haven't presented any evidence to support either of your hypotheses, either the one about a person creating something out of nothing, you agree that you couldn't do that, and now I think you're coming to agree that you cannot also uh, present a person who can create a baby alligator out of that piece of paper. Uh, you haven't done that either. Not only that, in nature there are no examples of baby alligators coming out of pieces of paper. Uh, we just don't see that happening. Yeah, I think first of all, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, interesting to observe that you try to uh, change the course of the debate and you don't want to really focus on the main point. You try to find something that you kind of, you know, uh, shift from the main point. So, so infinite, is it infinite? Uh, okay, I grant you that one. So, I mean, it's not big points. So you, are you going to say uh, almost infinite or are too many? Or I mean, that's not the point. But, you know, yeah, yeah. Even the question of what does what is infinite and can we really understand infinity? That's uh, I, I. That's not really the, the point that we try to discuss here. Plentiful, I like it. That's you know, forget if plentiful is something sufficient for you. So infinite is definitely more than plentiful. So what you